in science we have a lot of um, a lot of numbers, uh, big numbers all the way down to very, very tiny numbers, like when we're talking about the atom, or big numbers all the way up when we're talking about across the galaxy. So what we like to do, a, a way that scientists will communicate with each other is they'll ask, what's the order of magnitude? Basically, where is it on uh, the number of line, number line, or the order of magnitude of, of like a, a 10? So we can have orders, we could have like uh, 10 to the 0 power, we could have 10 to the 1st power, a 10 to the 2nd power, 10 to the 3rd power, and so on. We could go 10 to the minus 1 power, and 10 to the minus 2 power, 10 to the minus 3 power, and so on. So 10 to the 3rd is 1,000. So the order of magnitude of a 3, the order of magnitude is the exponent, so the order of magnitude of a 3 is somewhere like in the thousands. Order of magnitude of two is uh, 100. Order of magnitude of one is tens. Order of magnitude of zero is the ones. Uh, then we have the point one, we have the one hundredths, and we have the thousandths uh, place. So if someone said it has an order of magnitude of a six, what would that mean? It would actually mean it's, it's somewhere up probably, or close to um, one million. Really, the six would tell you how many zeros uh, zeros there are, so it would be one million. So an, an easy way to figure out the order of magnitude is to take any number. So if I say uh, we have the number 3,428, and I want to know what the order of magnitude of, of that number is, the easiest way to do it is to put it into scientific notation. The, the uh, scientific notation for this is 3.428E3. And then, uh, usually, what's after the E is your exponent, right here. That would be your order of magnitude. And that's almost all the time uh, kind of the case. If you put in scientific notation, just whatever the exponent is behind the E, that's what we refer to as the order of magnitude. Some of you are getting a little confused, though, when you said something like, well, what if I had uh, the number 700? Okay, so by the way, this, this one right here, it makes sense the order of magnitude is a 3 because three, the order of magnitude of 3 is in the thousands, and 3,428 is in the thousands. What if I do like 700, though? Where, where is that? Well, if I put it in scientific notation, it would be 7e2. And you might say, well, the order of magnitude must be a 2. So that means 700 is somewhere close to the 100 range. But is it? Is 700 closer to the 100s, or is it closer to the 1,000s? And you would notice that 700 is actually closer to the 1,000. So the order of magnitude of 700 is not 2. It needs to be 3. So how do we do that? Well, if you put it in the scientific notation, you look at the number at the beginning. If it's greater than 5, you're going to add 1 on to the order of magnitude. So since 7 is greater than 5, we're going to say that the order of magnitude of 700 is actually a 3, which does make sense. It's closer to 1,000. So if I had um, uh, 84, what's the order of magnitude? Well, the scientific notation would be 8.4e1. And you might say, well, the order of magnitude is a 1. No, it's not. It is a 2. So 84 is closer to 100 than it is to 10. Order of magnitude of 1 is a 10. Order of magnitude of a 2 is 100. And 84 is closer to 100. So if this number out here is greater than 5, you need to bump 1 up. We'll do one more. Let's look at 9.1 times 10 to the minus 2. What's the order of magnitude? Well, you might say it's a negative 2. But this is greater than 5. So you actually have to bump this up an order of magnitude. So it would actually be negative 1. Okay, so that's what, how do we write that? Point zero zero. Um, whoops, sorry. Point zero nine one is how you write uh, this number. And this is not closer to uh, um, point zero one. It's closer to actually point one. So instead of a negative two order of magnitude, it'd be a negative one. You'd have to bump, bump that up one more. Okay, hope that makes sense.